Pastor Eli Lietzow out of Wheat Ridge Evangelical Lutheran Church, continuing the study of the Ten Commandments with you, and we're on commandment number seven, you shall not steal. What does this mean? It means that we should fear and love God so that we do not take our neighbor's money or his possessions or give them in any dishonest way, but we should help him to improve and protect his income and possessions. This means right now we can see that this is a good gift from our Lord. It's not just that our Lord is the gift of uh, the giver of life, which he is, but he's also the giver of these temporal things too. So we can see that all of these temporal blessings that we have from our Lord, as the Catechism will teach us, right? Uh, house and home and shoes and clothing and food and drink and land and animals and all the things that we enjoy here in our life and all the things that support our daily body and life are good gifts from our Lord. And so our Lord gives to us these things. He doesn't just drop us out in the wilderness with nothing, but he supplies us with these good gifts and he gives to me and he gives to you. And I should see all the things that you have as good gifts. You should see all the things that I have as good gifts from our Heavenly Father. I dare not despise my Lord and despise you and take the things that you have. I dare not do that. This is not the way of our Lord. Now, I know in, in today's uh, day and age, we can actually see, or I think we think that might makes right. If I'm bigger and stronger, if I have the bigger gun, then I can do whatever I want. That I can take your possessions and make them my own. But just because I have the power to do something doesn't mean that I have the authority to do something. If I take my gun and I put it in your face and I take your wallet, sure, I've got the power for that, but I certainly don't have the authority for that. And doing that would be the things of evil. Because if our Lord is the giver, <clears throat> excuse me, of life, and then he's the giver of the things that support life in this temporal world, well, then all the things against that would be evil. So I should take a look at my neighbor and all the things that he has, and I should praise and thank our Heavenly Father for all the gifts that he's given to them. I should be grateful. I should be thankful that he's done this. And I would pray that you would do the same thing for me too. So I think this is the way that we need to actually talk about this seventh commandment stuff when we're talking to our friends and when we're talking to our families about it. All the things that we have are gifts. Gifts from our Heavenly Father. Goodness, we don't even deserve a breath. We don't even deserve a life that we have, let alone all the things that we have to enjoy this life. Well, let's not despise our Heavenly Father for being a good gift giver. And let's not certainly despise our neighbor for having the good gifts that our Lord has given to them. And let's certainly not take them from them. Instead, let's just enjoy life. Enjoy God as a good gift giver. Because he is. That's who he is. Thanks be to God. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.